Nadine Gordema used her pen to fight the injustices she saw around her in apartheid South Africa. She won the Nobel Literature Prize in 1991, three years before the end of white minority rule. She'd grown up in a different era, born in 1923 to Jewish immigrants, her father from Lithuania, her mother from Britain. She was first published at 15, not revealing her age to a magazine. You know, I'm what's known as a natural writer. I've been writing since I was a, a child. I had problems in that three of my books were banned. That's a strange experience for a writer. I was fortunate that I was writing in a world language in English, so that they were read. I was fortunate enough to be published elsewhere. But you want to be read in your own country, by your own people. And um, you feel a bit of a ghost when your books are banned. Apartheid became law in South Africa in 1948. Five years later, her novel The Lying Days was published. It mirrored some of her own experiences as the daughter of white middle-class parents, growing up in a mining town in South Africa and becoming an activist student involved with young blacks. She was a member of the African National Congress fighting for equality in South Africa, and she became a friend of the activist who went on to become the first black South African president, Nelson Mandela. Those of us who were against apartheid and wanted to see the struggle succeed against it, um, it, was, we, it came from in ourselves and from our life experience, but we were led by Mandela and his thinking, yes. Nadine Gordimer later said that supporters of the ANC were naive to believe everything would change for the better once the party came to power. And she didn't shy away from criticizing the ANC government, led by Jacob Zuma, who she viewed as corrupt. In an interview with Al Jazeera in 2012, she said we all learn from the past. The past is in your DNA. Hmm? from way back, and you simply have to use it, to remember it, and to see, to get some guidance from where it went wrong. She is survived by the legacy of her 15 novels, several volumes of short stories and other works, published around the world in 40 languages.